Gigi and Zayn have their own brand of beans. Is JLo moving from Drake to Harry oh, Styles? And Camila's collaboration with Pitbull is leaked. All that and more on today's rundown. Well, the wait is over. Katy Perry's Chain to the Rhythm music video is here. But first, let's get down to beansness. Ooh. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. So eat your beans with every meal. What? I know that's what you thought of when you read this story. What was that? Did you just like bust out a freestyle rap? <laughs> no, I can't take credit for it. But that's exactly what I thought about this when I heard that Zayn and Gigi love Heinz baked beans. Gigi admitted in the 2016 interview with ES Magazine that her boyfriend, Zayn Malik, was getting her into British cooking. Mm. She now loves to eat baked beans for breakfast with her boo, and specifically, we're talking about that Heinz brand. So in response, Heinz sent Gigi a box of her very own brand of beans, which Gigi showed off on Snapchat. The label on the can reads, Gigi and Zane's beans, there's never been a love like this. There should have been, there's never been a bean like this. Oh yeah, because there hasn't. Yeah, there's never been a love like this. Even better. Oh my god. Hi, call me. I got you. I got you. Okay, That's great. Good. Beans. Um, beans. I don't really know if I would be promoting beans unless they pay me a lot of money. Because like you said, beans make you toot. Beans and I love a good poop, but um, I don't know about sharing beans. It's kind of like yeah. not glamorous. Well, you this know? is like major, major culture. Like, it's a staple in British cooking. And like, I'm from South Africa, so we grew up on baked beans because we stole everything from the British. Right. So um, that's like a huge part of our, our menu. And like, when we first moved here, my mom was like, where's the Heinz baked beans? And so we had to go to like special stores until it went mainstream. Wow. And go and buy, like at World Market, she would go and buy all the British stuff to make sure that it was authentic. So you can't mess with someone's baked beans, it's like, there's like a bean culture I knew nothing about. It's like a serious bean culture. It sounds ridiculous. All right, you guys, so Jennifer Lopez stopped by Ellen to talk about her Vegas show and a bunch of other things, including Drake, Ooh. and we will get to that in just a moment. But first, they played a game of Would You Rather. You know, Ellen is notorious for putting up lots of celebrities, making other celebrities choose who they would rather. That's like an open-ended thing. Would you rather do what? Who knows? Uh, so basically, Jennifer played this whole game, and for the most part, she was choosing Harry Styles over so many people. She did choose Bruno Mars, she chose Leo, and then she ended back with Harry Styles. I could do either. I, 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 probably a couple years ago, I would have said Zac Efron, but today I'm gonna say Harry Styles. All right. And speaking of Drake, you could not avoid the question if you're Jennifer Lopez on Ellen about Drake. Did she spend Valentine's Day with him? Are they still dating? And here's what she said. This guy right here, was it this guy? <laughs> no, he's off on tour right now. Well, he is? He's off on tour right now, yeah. So Jen went on to explain that the Instagram photo of her and Drake hugging on a couch was them quote, unquote, hanging out. And Ellen wasn't buying it, and we weren't buying it either. Then Ellen dug deeper, asking her why she's into dating younger men, and then Jennifer quickly defended herself, saying, I don't date younger men, I just meet people. And if I like them, I like them. It's about the person, it's about who they are. It has nothing to do with age. Which I like, because I am dating, dating, I'm married. <laughs> I'm like, married. What are you about to drop right now? <laughs> Spilling the tea on DHR. <laughs> no, I'm married to a guy who's four years younger than me. And at first I had kind of like some reservations about it because society really kind of tells women you should be dating older yeah, because you want a, a more successful, mature man. But I think you can date younger men who are mature and successful and have their ish together. And I love that she was like, listen, I don't have an MO. It's just I like who I like. Yeah, I agree. But it is kind of interesting that Harry Styles' name kept popping up. I mean, I even think that still, you, even if someone is a lot younger than you, you still know like who you're attracted to. And it's totally cool that she's attracted to him. I mean, who isn't Styles attracted so to Harry Styles? This shouldn't even be news. <laughs> so I heard that there were still some doubters about Emma Watson playing Belle in the new movie. No! Season. Yeah, we still have some haters, but I think, I think that this new trailer just shut it all down. Yep, Emma Watson can actually sing. Not that you or I doubted her, Erin, but yeah, she can do anything, apparently. In a new clip from the upcoming Beauty and the Beast live action movie, Emma Watson gives us a true peek at her singing voice while singing the iconic song, Belle. There goes the baker with his tray, like always. The same old bread and 
rose to sun <laughs> Every morning just the same Since the morning that we came To this poor provincial town I really, really liked this. I did too. Um, I totally understand, like, all jokes aside, why people would be nervous about anybody playing Belle because it's hard to step into the shoes of a, an iconic Disney princess, especially one that's animated and super over the top. And when I first started watching this clip, I was like, this is so not Belle as we know her, but I kinda liked it. No, I thought she felt a lot like Belle to me when she was like hopping over the pond and there was a moment there at the mm -hmm, end, I was mm -hmm. like, that's, she's becoming Belle right before our eyes. I'm so excited about this. The thing I love about Emma Watson is that she's so great because I think she took some time off away from Hollywood. She went to school, she went to college. She had kind of a normal time from being super famous to now being super famous again. And I think that's so important to be able to be able to do so many things. So you have time to take off, to learn new things, to learn about yourself and be better at what you're doing in life. So that's why I think she's gonna kill it. And I can't even believe we haven't heard her sing before because she's great. She's good, yeah. I don't know if I'd say great yet. I'm, I want to see the whole movie. I think she's good, but I'm just, we were, we're both singers. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so hard. I set the bar way too high sometimes, I'll admit. But what I've seen so far, I'm really into. Yeah. Emma also now has started a sustainable fashion Insta account named The Press Tour, and it basically chronicles her looks during the Beauty and the Beast media tour. Done in partnership with her stylist, Rebecca Corbin Murray, the account already has 276 thousand followers and it will also shine a light on the eco fashion brands that Emma is dressed in. Ooh, that's cool. Speaking of Disney princesses, Camila Cabello looked like a Disney princess at the Grammys this past weekend. We could not stop drooling mm -hmm. over her look on the red carpet, but now she is moving on to bigger and better things, you guys. So last week we heard her new song with Cashmere Cat, and now we're hearing her new song with Pitbull. Camila tweeted a photo of herself with Pitbull and Colombian singer J Balvin and captioned it, Something in Spanish. <laughs> a mi gente Latina, stand up. That's right. And there's also a photo of Camila standing in front of a car, which looks suspiciously like a music video shoot. And this seems to really hint that Camila may debut some Spanish music, which is so exciting. And footage has leaked of Camila shooting a music video with Pitbull and Balvin in Miami for a song that's reportedly called Hey Mama that will be featured in the eighth Fast and Furious movie. And you guys have to watch Camila dancing in this clip. It is so hot. Well, speaking of music videos, Katy Perry has officially dropped her music video for Change of the Rhythm, and there's a lot going on in this video, so let's break it down. The first craziest thing that happens in this music video, um, Katy enters an exaggerated theme park called Oblivia, where everything is in perfect pastel. But then Katie notices women taking choreographed selfies in unison. And as Katie makes her way through the magical rides at Oblivia, we come across our second crazy moment with the reveal of the American Dream drop. Basically, couples joyfully get inside a picturesque house and take a huge drop, which kind of looks like a Tower of Terror, huh? And then Katie opts to go on a roller coaster, and then what happens next is insane. Check it out. Turn it up, keep it on Katie's super thirsty, so she dances over to Inferno H2O to fuel up with some chemical mm. fire. And finally, Katie enjoys a 3D movie when Skip Marley appears on the TV and literally pops out of the screen. This seems to snap the singer out of her conformity trance before she realizes that the rhythm isn't for her and Oblivia isn't, you know, as great as it seems anyways. Yeah, it felt like very Stepford Housewife totally. meets like the future Jetsons era. Um, I, you know, I really like this music video. I have to say, there have been some music videos of Katy Perry's that I haven't loved. Um, I think they're quirky and I think they're cool, but this one I really loved because the message of the song was in the video, but it wasn't in your face. Yeah. over the top, it was kind of the messaging was subtle, but it was still very much Katy Perry, lots of colors, lots of great set pieces and makeup and costumes, which I loved. But I really thought this was cinematic. I thought mm -hmm. it was 
really a nice reminder to us that we need to snap out of it sometimes and not just be on our phones and doing what everybody tells us to do all the time. I loved it. Yeah, I think it's easy to get complacent and that's what she was kind of going for, but I totally agree with you. This is still a very Katy Perry music video. Like you said, lots of color. And her, her music videos are usually like, performance, you know, yeah. art, like very theatrical, like she's putting on a show, but that coupled with um, very obvious lyrics can be a little bit too much, like in Pokey. your face, or just like, yeah, okay, we get it. But because the lyrics of this song were not thrown in your face, this was perfect to me. But what did you guys think of Katy Perry's new music video? Did you love it as much as we did? Let us know in the comments below. And then after you go look up that leaked footage of Camila's video, I'm really sorry, but you gotta do it. It's like, eh, mama, eh, mama, eh. And it's stuck in my head ever since I listened to it. That means it's a good song. It's gonna be good. So let us know what you think of that too. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out and we will see you back here tomorrow. Click left to see the insane amount Selena Gomez spent on the weekend's birthday. Or click right for details about Kesha being body shamed by Dr. Luke in a bunch of leaked emails.